Now we are going to discuss about this transaction code ME2 scrap. This is for scrap analysis of purchase order. Okay, this is related with subcontracting. So here if I do like this, we double I see there is no scrap. So let me take this out slowly. And I'll execute here. And here you can see all the scrap analysis. So if I double click on this purchase order, let me see, it will take me to the scrap analysis. Okay, uh, please choose a valid line. So I'm choosing the valid line and it takes me to the purchase order. And here you can see the scrap analysis. So there is the PO quantity. Okay, there is no, uh, there is no uh, three and here car wheel assembly and based on the material group and other stuff you know whether it's a scrap or not so let's see in the material data there's some data things related uh, so if i go here in the quantity is the delivery schedules you can see now here if i go further there's a flexible workflow and what what generates this scrap analysis so if you see there is this purchase order number and this is let me see this is material number this is the quantity so there is something let me double click on this one so car will assembly the same thing the quantity is 10 so here we go to the purchase order history so here we have this three quantities for uh, car wheel assembly and this is the plant 1710 and this is the info record okay here so let me go into the other one so why it show why it shows so this is the requirement quantity so let me see if i double click on this so let's see this one so it has the quantity of two and let's see the order status problem. here it will show something so two orders two got <laughs> received so this is a little different so let's see what it does and if i click on this information on this so here let's double click on this probably we'll have some more data so basically if you see this is the PO quantities and this is the net price 800 and here if I go here this one it has the quantity requirement quantity is 40 and this one has requirement quantity of this SCC material number so this is the material number and this is the SCC material number. Let's see, it's 396. What is this? Ah, this is the material number here. And what is the material number here? 395. This is another. So, oh, this is, so this is semi-finished goods. And 396 is the raw material. So from this semi-finished product, how much raw materials is required? Okay. So here... So for this, how much is required to, to make this quantity? So these are the different scrap materials is required. So if I see 395, that's why if you see everything has this. So based on the quantity, it changes. So let's see. So if I double click on this line. And if I double click on this line, I want to see. So there is 10 quantity. 10 quantity this is 40 now if i go into this one uh, so 4 and this is 3 so this is 12 so so if you notice so for each quantity it requires 4 each so 3 requires 1 so it's it's all ratio so if we had something which has one quantity okay then so it's basically it's doing this math now for this reason here 396 here this 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 has a different this has a different thing because here it changed but ideally 
what it's doing is based on the quantity it's changing the value so oh no this is also right see if you see here so i'm pretty sure this this value is the actual quantity in the purchase order in the purchase order line so we can make sure and based on the so this is this particular material is the finished semi-finished goods okay and this finish semi-finished goods is comprised of those different scraps so the different scraps are these so this material is comprised of 393 396 397 so probably somewhere it has the relationship work level so this is the plant if i go to Carvel additional unit of measure basic data so here inspection consumption probably here to no this doesn't tell me so let's go into this thing we'll open mm03 and we'll try to find where does the material is comprised of okay so internal trade import work scheduling so storage location segment valuation uh, i'll select all let's see plant was 1710 i want to see what are the different so if i go here i click on this oops we need of measure this comes here basic data to purchasing so here internal trade purchase order text mrp1 uh, 395 mrp2 is mrp areas 395 advanced planning this is scrap materials it could be somewhere here so the scrap material there is a relationship where you have this plant data storage here accounting plant stock so here you can see wm packaging segment valuation don't have this so if i go to the art level go here doesn't tell me so if i go here stock overview sales function uh, users reference material MRP display changes stock overview go to uh -huh. let's play stock overview so if I go from the from here to the stock overview so there is a place where um, relationship so detail display so yeah this is the uh, ordering stock so now if i notice here so basically for each of this material this material is comprised of this many materials and these all these materials are raw products okay this is a raw material and this is also a raw material semi-finished product this is a finished semi-finished product so it's mixed of raw material and semi-finished product which is making this 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 particular uh, this particular material number so this is everything related with scrap analysis of purchase order